Hi, I'm Alex, and I wanted to talk to you today about the process of writing a journalistic story and the aspects that make it unique from other forms of writing. I also wanted to take you through the ethics behind journalism and how journalism is perceived today. It's a very explicit form of expository writing that relies on details and facts. Throughout this presentation, I have two questions I want you to think about. One is... How do you see journalism changing and progressing over time? And to what extent do you think that journalism relies on emotional appeals and media-based narratives instead of accuracy? To start, I wanted to quote an influential figure in the journalism industry, and that is Henry Grunwald. Mm -hmm. He's the former editor-in-chief of Time magazine, and he once said, journalism can never be silent. That is its greatest virtue and its greatest fault. It must speak and speak immediately. And while the echoes of wonder, the claims of triumph, and the signs of horror are still in the air. Journalism is different from any other form of writing. It adheres to its own ethical code. Many people would disagree to it having an ethical code, however, because they seem to find journalists annoying, pushy, impolite, and they're not always wrong. Journalism send it, journalists tend to go to any extent they need to to get the truth because the goal of journalism is not to mislead you but to deliver the truth and to share information with the public that they might not otherwise have known i'm going to share with you the process of writing an effective journalistic piece to show what good journalistic habits are let's start by defining journalism journalism is the act and process of gathering assessing delivering factual information to society in comparison to literature, it is usually much more obvious with the statements it is trying to make, and it follows a set of ethics to be considered good journalism. The writer should follow this set of ethics as to not come off as biased or agenda-driven. And in journalism, that tends to be uh, an easy category to fall into. It's not like any other type of writing. The information journalists acquire and send out to the public can be criticized for mistakes and inaccuracies. It is the only type of writing that has a heavy influence on public opinion for almost any topic or situation. This is why it's crucial to be as accurate as possible in journalism. Let's get into the writing portion of it. What makes a journalistic piece a journalistic piece? Journalistic stories are almost always written using an inverted pyramid style. It's, it is the complete opposite of writing literature, where you want to draw your readers in and intensify the details as you go on. In journalism, however, you want to get to the facts as quickly and accurately as possible. The headline of the story should be the attention grabber. It should be the part of the story that hooks people in and makes people say, I want to know about this. These are the facts that I want. It should summarize in a few words what the entire story is about. The first paragraph should cover the who, the what, when, where, and why. As the story progresses, the important details should follow and second, the important details should follow. In the second paragraph and in the, in the paragraphs following, as you go down, you want the details to get less and less important. So the more important details are at the top, while the least important details are at the bottom. One of the biggest mistakes for up-and-coming journalists is writing using a traditional essay format. And after you've been in school for so long, it can be hard to break out of that. They tend to use essay-style introductions and conclusions. The end of a journalistic story should never have an ending that reiterates all of the points that were previously made in the story. Because you want to just put that all out there in the beginning and, and keep it there. They should never use complex sentences uh, or the same imagery-based explanations that literature tends to use. People reading the stories want to know the point of it without having to work hard to find it, which means the less unnecessary detail, the better. You just want it clear cut and defined. <clears throat> uh, another aspect 
of journalistic writing is that they tend to use a lot of subject, verb, and noun pronoun agreements, which can be confusing to not only use, but to identify. So if you're becoming a journalist, a good way to uh, become more acquainted with that is to get a daily paper and uh, find all of the noun pronoun agreements and the subject verb agreements after you've become, after you you know, define them and you're, you're aware of what they are. Unlike many other forms of writing, however, journalism allows for the use of first, second, and third person point of view. The choice of point of view is up to, is at the writer's discretion. Uh, now, I want to talk a little bit about the ethics now. There are a lot of ethics that contribute to journalism and not all of those ethics are followed. But for the most part, journalists tend to be more uh, fact-based regardless of their bias. As I've stated before, the most important part of journalism is writing about the truth and nothing but the truth. If anyone has ever read an article nowadays, it is clear that not all journalism follows their code of ethics. They only present what they want the public to see sometimes, and that goes against the code of ethics. It is because of this bias in journalism that fact-checking became such a large part of the media. Journalists are tasked with the job of explaining their writing and taking accountability for it, even if it's wrong, um, and then also admitting when they've made a mistake. Uh, the Code of Ethics also requires journalists to update and add or subtract details as a story goes through its lifespan. Uh, John Arone wrote an essay titled, Why Journalism Matters to Journalism Studies. And it claims that the art of journalism has always been, has always, is always changing, uh, just as, as every other form of writing or art in general. Journalism is always changing in its style and its method of delivery. It used to only be found in newspapers and magazines, but is now primarily online. One thing has stayed the same over the course of journalism's history, and that is that it has always been the best source of information, so others don't have to access to find the truth. So others that don't have access to the resources that journalists do they're able to find the truth and, and be informed. Um, Keith Clore, in relation to John Narone's essay, wrote an article titled Journalism Under Attack. And that mostly pertains to the trouble that journalists can get into by exposing these facts. Uh, it's a large part of journalism and, it is, and uh, journalists tend to face a lot of danger by exposing certain things. It clearly, this article clearly conveys the issues journalists have to deal with because of their influence on public opinion and their way to find the, and their way of finding truths. He state, uh, Keith Clore states, you need to do what has already been proven to work in, in warping public perceptions, discussions in, of certain fields of science, meaning in order to, in, in order to sway public opinion, Journalists need to present their pieces with a hero, a villain, and a media-favored narrative. It used to be an emotional appeal, but now they're realizing that people want a full story, a story that you could usually find in literature. Um, and the example he uses is the 2016 elections, uh, Trump versus Hillary. Um, he's come to find that uh, but Keith Clore and John Neron have come to find that uh, journalism has progressed into a more emotional-based art.